Does God exist? And if God exists, why is the world in the mess that is in today? Is there hope for the future? These are three of the most important questions people are asking today. Does God exist? God has always existed. God is everywhere. Christ taught us that God is spirit, and they who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. One time a little boy was coming home from Sunday school, and an atheist saw him. And he looked at the little boy and he said, Son, I'll give you a quarter if you can tell me where God is. And the little boy looked back at him and he said, Sir, I'll give you a dollar if you can tell me where he ain't. God has always existed. And the Bible says that the reason the world is in the mess that it's in today is because people have rebelled against God. Is there hope for the future? There is certainly hope for the future because this Bible contains the good news of the gospel that Jesus Christ is coming soon and he is going to be the coming world leader. Somebody asked a famous evangelist recently if there was hope for the future and he said, I know there's hope for the future because I've read the last pages of the Bible. Christ is going to write the last pages of history. He's going to write these pages in peace and in power. And friend, if you've been wondering about the future, open up your Bible and begin to read it. It's really real. This message of God is real. But maybe you're sitting there saying, well, how can I believe in God? How do I know God is really real? Well, it's just like a soft drink. Here I have a can. You can't tell what's in that can. You don't know whether it's empty or whether there's something in it. And if there was something in it, if you admitted there was a soft drink in it, you still can't tell what it tastes like. But I can because, you see, I've experienced it. The same is true of God. You can say you believe in God. You can talk about God. But God was meant to be experienced. And you can experience God in your own life. God was not meant to be an object to believe in as much as God was meant to be a God to be experienced. God wants to come into your life so that you can experience him and say, I know my Redeemer liveth because he lives in your heart. Paul the Apostle said, he said, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. That's what it means to be a Christian. It's not to have religion in your head, but it's to experience God in your heart so that you really know that God is real for yourself.